So in this video I want to cover some troubleshooting with your SF model. So the best way to diagnose with an SF bolt on full automatic is with a slow motion camera setting. So use your smartphone and then go really slow, scroll by, especially when the bolt is closing. What then happens? They can diagnose a few things and also look at the release of the hammer if the timing is correct. Recently this uh, part has been updated because I noticed that there was a little bit of a wobble. Uh, this was not in my original prototype design but when I was reprinting it. There was a, it was really loose fitting and that's not correct. It should be really tight in there solid let's say so there's no tolerance issues, no play uh, that puts your timing off. So in case you don't have printed those, replace the old part of this and replace it with the new part, so the new sear and the sear frame. That might be already a fix for you. Also keep in mind that this part needs to be really loose fitting let's say, uh, needs to move smoothly. Also I updated a little bit the spring, but there is some more documentation in how to build and in the parts list about springs and how to deal with it and I will cover it later in a later moment as well in this video but of course basically function test is to pull the trigger it should not be skipping past it because it needs to be hold back on that one when put on full automatic then when you press this forward it should fly forward again and with the trigger hold back so this is a basic function check, if it cannot pass that there is something off around here that you need to figure out in this sear frame, full automatic sear frame. Also very important is that the weights are installed and anti bounce weights and that they are really free moving inside of the bolt. It needs to shake, when you shake the bolt you need to you, can, you should hear them and you should feel that they are moving. If it is only one of the few weights that are moving, then you need to again take a look at that and fix that. With the, the Mark II, Mark I's, it's really easy because it is just a standard rod you use or threaded rod. So that should be really easy to make. With the partisan 6 it's a little bit more tricky so that's why I mention it that you um, take care of that that uh, function is properly working otherwise you will get bolt bounce. So what you will be looking for in the video when you are recording it when you have an issue of course make sure that it function on semi-automatic in the first place if it cannot function on semi-automatic then you don't even have to worry about the bolt bounce and the full auto sear because then there's something else going on with your build but assume that is working but when you put it on full automatic you can shoot only for a short time and then it stops cycling or it's really unreliable or just one shot and then the hammer is up against the bolt after one shot so again make sure then you hold the trigger that the hammer is going down and when the bolt is going forward look at the moment when the full automatic shear is activated this should be theoretically always uh, this should be correct with now the new bolt I did it too slow <laughs> and now my bolt is not all the way forward but as you can see when I put it all the way forward it should activate it if that timing would be off then it would hit uh, the bolt when it's still open that way it cannot fully hit the valve and then it would fail to fire so that's something that you can see in the, in the footage in a moment and take a look at 
if that's going on then that might be an issue uh, with the release of the uh, share but that's something you could spot right now at this moment already if it is a short cycle issue then again that might be because you use green gas at a really fast cycle speed and if it is a few shots it works and then it starts to short cycle then it might be the green gas it's better to use uh, compressed air with this setup because it cycles so fast but um, also oh, and you see that the bolt is really pushing it all the way back but still it's it flies forward let's say then there might be something wrong with your spring or it is too tight of a fit with your full automatic sear arm so it slows it down and it is not catching the hammer in time um, some other issues that were in the past are fixed with the newer bolts and um, the sear setup so it's no red chance anymore that this bolt is hitting this arm and therefore bouncing it loose again that was something that was in the beta phase an issue again when the bolt bounce weights are not working what then will happen when the bolt is closing is that it will bounce open a little bit but that when the bolt is closed that is the signal for the hammer to fly up so what will happen is so what will happen is the hammer will fly but the bolt meanwhile is al is already kind of bouncing back so it will hit the bolt well the bolt is still a little bit open so acting like a brake it, more, it kills the momentum of the hammer and therefore it cannot depress the, the valve in your magazine properly so that's what's why the anti-bolt bounce thing is really important at those really fast speeds you will notice even in slow motion this can be tricky to spot so you need to put it in really slow motion so don't mind the low frame rate that it looks really awful really inspect when the bolt is closing it is not a little bit of a of a mo moment that when you see the hammer going like this and then you see the bolt going back that's a signal that there is a, a bolt bounce going on that's the really clear clue for that one it can be sometimes really tricky sometimes it's better noticeable what I notice when you sh uh, if you remove your disconnect piece at the front so right here if you use an empty magazine uh, without any BBs I mean with that and you have to disconnect remove and you try to full automatic fire then if this anti, anti bolt bounce mechanism is not working then it will fail guaranteedly let's say that's the hardest time for it to cycle properly uh, with if it doesn't have an anti bolt bounce if it works almost then you might uh, get it to work with BBs inside of it but then it starts to fail as soon as uh, the BBs are run out so that's probably a good test to do as well to really test if that function is working correctly or, or if it is still bouncing let's say but you will notice with that one is because I think there is more speed in the bolt there's no thing that it needs to feed in a BB so it's more easy for it to just go forward there's more momentum in the bolt so it will bounce even more let's say than it would normally do and that is when you really notice there is an issue going on so that might be a good trick to uh, really diagnose if it is this, in, this issue with the slow motion footage or with the hammer uh, of course not everybody has this open framed uppers to diagnose things like this but again if it would be a hammer issue and you have shot this in frame the ejection port and you don't see that the bolt is moving uh, bouncing let's say and you still have let's say a dead hammer after one shot then you, of course you will notice when you cycle it like okay the hammer was released it hits uh, the bolt so there might be a timing issue or it might 
Uh, it is also a good thing to really take notice of how far the bolt can move. And when it also is, let's say, resetting the hammer at that point that is, and maybe make a little bit of a mark on there. That way, if it is uh, not cycling all the way back for some reason, then you know it was a short cycle issue and not necessarily an issue with the mechanism right here. If, again, with an open model like this, it's really a lot easier to spot things like this, but when you have only this ejection port, it might help to do things like that. So you can see like, okay, it's traveling all the way to the back. So it should have reset everything, but still, the the full automatic shear was too slow to catch the the hammer and again if you are at the stage and you do think that this is working just try it on uh, semi-automatic see if it is not poorly cycling anyways on semi-automatic as well and got nothing to do with full automatic shear or that um, that way you can kind of isolate the issues a little bit and then it makes it easier to kind of see like maybe this is not seated right it maybe still a little bit of a tolerance issue right there that needs to be looked at but that's the best way to go about it by isolating the few components and um, troubleshoot from there instead of just looking at that the entire picture and make yourself go crazy about it but do keep in mind that when you shoot so fast like this with green gas or um, but do keep in mind that you shoot so fast like this there will be a lot of cool down in your magazine that will lower the pressure as well so that might be a thing as well not to blame it now on the green gas and not on issues right here but do keep that in mind that that might be an issue but still if you would do only do short burst and it cannot do that with liability on green gas there's probably something going on in the system of course to be fair just don't expect that you can do uh, an entire mag dump like you see me do with uh, compressed air with a green gas magazine i think that's uh, not a realistic expectation you can have with it so when the bolts going forward that is really the moment you want to focus on what is happening if it's uh the bolt bouncing open again or not also in case you notice that your fire rate is inconsistent that is also an, a clear indication that your anti-bolt bounce is not working correctly and this will also give you inconsistent fire fps dual lies let's say because as you can see uh, this model is working at this point but with those inconsistencies and things like that it will result in an unreliable build and those signs will give you uh, a clue that this is not built correctly yet but it can maybe be hard to spot at first if you are just using short burst and you are lucky let's say so that's why I point this out so here's a clear example of a uh, bolt that is bouncing not all of those situations are that clear as this one As you can see the bolt moves so fast that you cannot spot things like this at a real speed uh, video. However you can hear if it is inconsistent fire. Here you will see again a bolt bounce issue but this one is really subtle and that's something you really need to look out for. So don't mistake this for short cycle issues when you see this uh, bulb movement. So now you'll see footage with a correct functioning uh, anti-bulb bounce and the hammer setup is correct like before. But as you can see this is really boring footage to look at and that's kind of what you want. It's consistent cycling so there's no bounce in the bolt. It's just cycling at the same speed basically, maybe with a little bit of variations, but it's uh, pretty much the same thing over and over and over again. And that's kind of what you're looking for.